the DJI Mavic Pro. Here I see one in Carrefour department store. They have them on display, but they're not selling them. Pfft. What's that about? So I decided to order one. My Mavic drone came today. The website said it would take one week, but it took three. <laughs> giant box for a set of propellers. Extra propellers that I got. A giant box filled with bubble wrap. Exciting. Charging up. Car charger. Battery. Battery. So there's two additional batteries that come with the Fly More package, and that's a total of three batteries. Colors. And I bought an extra pair. Careful, careful, surgical. The vinyl carrying case. New electronics. Let me smell it. it smells new. Oh. It's even smaller than it looks. I remove the gimbal clamp before power on. Let me just do that now or else I'm gonna forget. All right, here we go. This is actually gonna be my second or third or more flight. Tap and hold to power the aircraft and tap and hold to power the controller. You could slide the takeoff slider on screen or you can pull both sticks down and inward towards each other to start up. I prefer this way. This is actually my first flight here. So I started out in beginner mode and beginner mode limits the range to about 30 meters and it reduces the controller sensitivity which makes it a little bit more forgiving. Here I test out the motion sensors in the front. After flying for a while I take off beginner mode and I take it up a little bit higher and a little bit farther. Here, I try out the return to home mode. I hit the return to home button and I have the craft land itself and it lands within about a foot of where it took off from, which is pretty amazing. Back to the Riverside Park. Here I'm still getting used to the, the exposure settings. Sometimes it's a little bit overexposed, a little bit underexposed. Here, I just have it sitting there hovering and I walk up to it, it feels like it's on a tripod.
when you switch into sport mode, you can see the handling gets way more aggressive, it gets faster, the angle of its turn gets sharper, and the sensitivity of the sticks becomes a lot more sensitive, less forgiving. All right, low battery, let's go charge that. Another flight, I take it up into the mountain and I fly over Northern Taipei. My confidence is up enough that I could take it down near the water. Here I fly under a bridge, one of my more risky moves. It caused my heart to sink a little bit. enough that I can feel good about flying indoors. Here at our Jiu Jitsu club we have a nice high ceiling and everyone here agreed to have this thing flying over their head. Now indoors it is very stable but it does drift a little bit because there's no GPS signal to lock it in place so you have to be vigilant on the controls that you don't slowly drift into a wall. Now I didn't go over some of the other features like following mode, things like that. Um, this is just a basic overview and my initial thoughts on this thing, this gadget that I now use all the time.